Welcome everybody, Music with Todd Ledbetter. You know where you're at. Why do I have to say it every time? Hey, David Sylvian is up uh, this time. That we're uh, we're finally here, okay? We're back with some more David Sylvian. Highly, highly recommended uh, artist. Um, and I've got lots of songs that you guys have recommended from him. And we are back with this one. Uh, this is from 1987. It's a 10-song, 38-minute, 18-second release called Secrets of the Beehive. Uh, he's got a remastered version here on Spotify 2003. I'm not sure if that's probably what's going to be on the YouTube where I usually play it from. Uh, so uh, that, you know, that's that. So let's go ahead and get right on into it and uh, move forward with some more David Sylvian. I've just been loving his solo work so much. Let's get into it here. Not sure if this is the remastered or not. He knows well his wicked ways Cause of bitterness Grudge held from his childhood days As if life had loved him less Reading down his list of names He ticks them one by one He points the barrel at the sky Firing shots off at the sun And the Lord and the King I am the wisdom, listen to me He carves out the victims' names In the wooden butt of the gun Leans well back against the tree He knows his kingdom's come Breathe a sigh, self-satisfied The work is in good hands He shoots the coins into the air And follows where the money lands At the city's edge of hellfire and of stone He summons up the devil there To give him courage of his own He'll free the sinners of deceit They'll hear his name and run His justice is his own reward Measured out beneath the sun
That was a total vibe. I can't believe that was five minutes. I literally felt like it was like a minute. That was a total vibe. Super cool. He is just as smooth as silk. Um, not just his voice, but just the music that he creates. Um, there's something very special, very unique about it that uh, I'm not experienced enough with him to fully explain uh i'm sure that was mick on bass um most likely uh 1987 uh, before he had passed i uh, sounded kind of similar to his uh bass tone uh just a fantastic fantastic song i loved the bass work i loved the percussion the the acoustic guitar was brilliant and then all of the electric guitars and keyboards that kind of gave a a soundscape that was marvelous just super super cool he is uh an artist that <clears throat> i was introduced to when i first started this channel when he was in japan was the very first reaction i did was a japan song i say that every time i do a japan song or a david sylvan song and but it's just amazing to me how far I've come with this music because I have to be honest with the first song I heard from him. I, I didn't quite get the genre. I didn't really quite get the sound, you know, I mean, I could appreciate what I was hearing, you know, and like uh, the instrumentation and things like that. And mixed bass was obviously special, <clears throat> but, uh, but David's voice, I think in his solo work, because I've heard more of it, really, honestly. I haven't gone back to a lot of Japan, so I probably need to explore that, too. But his voice is really something unique. And his, the tone and the depth of his voice, but the melodies that he's able to create with that voice are really, really captivating. Super captivating. Amazing. It's like a far cry. It's like it's like the opposite spectrum of, of City and Color when Dallas Green's voice He's got such a high voice and he has these marvelous, marvelous uh, melodies, but more in a higher range, you know. David's got the same kind of talent, but in a lower range, just really, really smooth and mellow. I, I have to say, I really, really like what I've been hearing uh, every time you guys recommend a new song. Uh, it's really something that I can't wait. I need to probably go through an entire album so I can start studying the album as a, as a whole, you know, and not just like piece of song here, piece of song there, piece of song there. Uh, because it'll take me, I'll, I'll never get to know him as much as I feel like I should if I don't focus in and just do an entire album and then, yeah. excuse me, be able to listen to it, uh, on repeat for as long as I feel like it, you know, which is what I've done with many, many other bands such as Leprous and uh, Porcupine Tree and, and Opeth and Riverside and and bands like that have been prominently uh, featured on this channel over the, you know, mainly last year, you know, I discovered those bands. So I haven't quite found that new band. Riverside's kind of the new band because I, I was slow to them. 
But the 2023 band, I'm really getting into Riverside. I got to do more here on the channel, but I couldn't really wait. I started listening to them outside of the band or outside of the channel. So I don't know. I might not get that much on here as far as first listens. But hey, it doesn't have to be a first listen, right? Other people might not have heard them, so I can still play them and, and uh, expose other people to, to Riverside. <laughs> Anyways... I appreciate the recommendation. A fabulous song. Just absolutely tremendous. It was really, really a good song. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys like and subscribe this video. Okay, I'm going to do all my, all my stuff. And uh, Ko-Fi, Patreon, if you want to help out the channel, recommend songs over there. And uh, down in the comments, we'll see you. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.